Good morning, Father. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Hi, I can see you're really doing great. Despite the fasting and all of that, God is still strengthening you. Yes. With the good Lord continue to strengthen you as you walk in His venue to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, may we know you officially, please. I am Father Marshall Jaffet, okay. the priest in charge at St. Anthony Catholic Church, and Wangi Dejikoi Catholic Isaac of Abuja. Okay, Father, I know tomorrow is going to be Palm Sunday. Please, can you tell us the significance of Palm Sunday? Yes, the Palm Sunday or the Passion of the Lord introduces us into the Holy Week in the Catholic Church. A period whereby we have intense prayers mm -hmm. and then intense fasting and thanksgiving. If I round up what the journey we've had so far, we've been fasting and praying for these 40 days of Lent. So this week is the most important week in the life of every Christian. Okay. And um, Palm Sunday, as the name signifies, has to do with the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. When Jesus went into Jerusalem to prepare himself to suffer, to die for us, and also at the end to resurrect and then help us live a wonderful life. So it is very significant and important for all of us who are Christians, and we are all preparing towards it. Thank you, Father. Please, Father, why the use of palm? Because I may, may I, 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 you may mention of palm. So why the use of that palm? And not any other three. No wrapper, no other, your expensive clothes for palm. Yes, I mean, many persons will always ask that question why are we looking for palm? Why not use something more expensive and the rest of that? Now, the truth is, during the time of Jesus, palm was something that was, I mean, palm symbolizes, what they call it, victory wow. or triumph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was something very special. Wow. I don't know if you've heard of red carpet. You see red carpet? Yes. Yes. So during that time, palm was used as the red carpet. So when there is someone very important coming, when there is someone passing through this way, it's someone very, very important. What they do then is you bring out these palms, put it there, the person will march on them. So it's a sign of victory. It's a sign that Jesus was entering to Jerusalem to go and die for us. Jesus was a great man. Yes, so that's what palm signifies. Thank you very much, Father, for this beautiful clarification of the use of palm. I never knew that palm can actually be this useful, can be actually be referred as in can be used for use as red carpet. Yes. Thank you very much for this clarification, Father. Uh -huh. Father, please, what should Christian learn or take home about this Palm Sunday? Okay, so Palm Sunday, first of all, reminds us of the greatness of God. Reminds us of the plan God had for us. Yes. So Jesus is coming. And when he came, the purpose of his coming was to come die for us. But Jesus decided to show us the glory that he came with. The glory that he came with. That's before he suffers. So it is very significant. And a take home for all of us Christians is just as you see that Jesus showed us how glorified he is by using the donkey and then they were singing Hosanna in the highest, praising him. The next thing that happened was after some minutes we were told he was crucified, he suffered, he died for us. It reminds us as humans, as Christians, that there is what we call the glory and the wretchedness of man, of us Christians. There are moments of consolation, there are times that things will go so well, there are times that will make it high up there. And then time is also coming to when we'll be at our low moments. Things may not work out the way we want them. So if you look at how Jesus started, the glory, he wanted to just teach us that yes, this is it. That every suffering you go through for the sake of God, for the sake of others, it yields to us. Brothers can work. I think that is a take home for all of us Christians during this season of Lent. Wow, indeed, Jesus is the King of Kings, the King of all kings that no one can actually comprehend. We pray that as we enter this holy week, may Lord give us the strength 
to journey with him to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Marshall. The thank you very much, Reverend Father Marshall, the parish priest of Saint Anthony Cali Church at Guangede. We pray that may the Lord continue to strengthen you as we walk in his venue to Christ our Lord. Amen. I am Ode Mary reporting for all time of Divine Mercy Television, Abuja.